What's up guys, welcome back to NZ Toy Reviews, you're kicking it with Kiwi Cons. It's been a long two weeks, but today we'll be looking at Mousetrap by Hasbro Gaming. I picked this one up the other day and just like always, we're going to be looking at three things. Packaging, quality, and most importantly, the price. So let's do this thing. So the first thing on the list, external packaging. So let's start with the front of the box. Okay, so when you see this thing on the shelf, you're just automatically drawn straight to it, man. It's nice and colorful. It's not as good as the old school one that I remember as <laughs> when I was a kid, but it's really, really fun. The kids are just gonna be attracted straight to it like a magnet, for real. Okay, top right. This is a Mensa for kids ball game, okay? So you can practice valuable skills in construction, cause and effect, and decision making as well. That's really cool, man. It's really onto it, yummy. You know I mean? Top left, there is a warning, guys, that it's a trekking hazard for under three, so just be careful out there, all right? Bottom left, guys. So we do have to set this up for the kids, so just bear that in mind as well. And this is a two to four player board game, just like how it was back in the days when I used to play it. So there we have it, guys, the front of the box. Let's take a look around the sides and around the back. So here we have our first side of the box. So it does mention Mensa for kids again. So it's all based around construction, cause and effect, and decision making on this, man. It's pretty cool. And here we have the back of the box, just as I remembered it, man. Nice and colorful. A bunch of kids playing it. Looks real fun. So down the bottom, we've got the contents. We've got the game board, four mouse pawns, marble, 24 mouse trap contraption parts, rubber band, 24 cardboard cheese wedges, a die, and instructions. And how we play this game number one scurry around the board but watch out for that trap number two set off the chain reaction trap to catch another mice number three collect six cheese wedges first to win so that's how we play this game so that's pretty much the back guys let's take a look at our last side now here we have the last side of the box it looks like that they've teamed up with cranium to do a little bit of advertising for them so we have perfection which is five years plus We've got Cranium Sculpt It, which is five years plus as well, and Downspin, which is seven years plus. Cool. So there we have it, guys, the front sides and the back of the external packaging. What can I say? I'm going to say it. It is the most colorful, most fun, my favorite external packaging on all the reviews that I've ever done. Really nice, man. So let's move on now to internal packaging. Next up on the list, internal packaging. So remember guys, all NZ toy reviews are aimed at adults because we like to use sharp things like knives and scissors on this channel from time to time. So just bear that in mind. So let's get this thing started. So let's look for our seal. It should be around the back somewhere. Here it is. So we just have to cut this open and then we can get started on the internal. What I like to use, you know what it is, my favorite army knife. So let's do this thing. Okay guys, so here's a quick look at what it looks like on the inside. So it looks like we've got a few plastic bags and maybe this cardboard box. Let's carry on. Just a little heads up guys, the board game is hidden underneath the white box, so just be careful, okay? Finally, the internal packaging. So we get two plastic bags, a few cardboard inserts here, and you get these rubber ties that held a couple of pieces down onto the cardboard inserts just for added protection. So there we have it guys, the external and internal packaging. If I were to choose one or the other, I'm definitely going with the outside. As I said, it's really colorful, nice and attractive. All the kids are just gonna be drawn straight to it. It's really nice, man. So there we have it guys, let's move on now to quality. Next up on the list, quality. Now what's better than buying a quality toy for your money? So let's get a closer look at a couple of these parts here, just so we can get a fair idea on what we're getting at. So it seems pretty solid. It's not gonna snap as soon as you pick it up. Nice. So here's the cheese wedges too. So it's just a piece of cardboard cut out. The images on it, it looks really nice as well. Nice and crisp. Let's take a closer look at our pieces here. So we got a steely or ball bearing and our mice pieces pretty heavy nice and solid we've got a green man and die as well cool now the part that i've been waiting for i really wanted to take a look at the board here itself nice quality board let's open it up 
and it's huge man it can't even fit in the entire frame so we're gonna have to modify my camera here a little bit just so we can get it in all its glory so there we have it guys here's the overall look of our board and it just looks nice man it looks nice and crisp high definition images the colors just pop out nice and colorful man and yeah it's just huge awesome now with that covered let's put all of our pieces into one place now excellent everything looks like we're ready to go ready to rumble but before we do that everyone has to look at the instruction manual so let's do that first let's take a look on the inside of this thing so here it shows us all the parts that we get and how to construct the awesome looking trap if you've played this before man it's awesome around the back it's just instructions on the objective of the game and how everything kind of works so it's really nice and clear awesome instructions man nice job okay guys now that we've seen the instruction manual and all the parts that we need to construct this awesome trap what we're gonna do we're gonna put it together now so we're gonna do a little bit of fast forward magic as we do so let's grab our instruction manual once again and yo let's do this thing Finally, here we have it guys, the fully constructed mouse trap contraption. It just looks awesome. I do have to mention though, if you're building this, start with the bases guys. Put all the bases down first and just work your way up from there. Because as you saw through the video, I had to lift up the ball game a couple of times just to get the pieces underneath it. So it was quite annoying. So just remember, put the bases down first, work your way up from there. Then you'll be all good. And I do have to mention as well, it's quite sensitive. So just be careful because it can go off at any time. Hi. Right. At the end of the day, the quality of this board game and pieces are just awesome, man. I love it. So let's move on now to the demo. Here we are at everyone's favorite part of the video, the demo. So what I wanted to do is just get everyone that hasn't played this game before a closer look. So let me give you a little bit of a demonstration on the trap. A quick heads up on this trap here. So you pull back the red stop sign here, which is powered by the rubber band here. It pulls back, you let go, it hits the green boot here, which kicks the yellow bucket here with our steel ball in it. The steel ball travels down the blue stairs, which then lands into the red slide. It travels down the red slide around the blue stairs, which lands into our next yellow bucket. Our next yellow bucket is held in place by this blue broom. The blue broom is held in place by this red wrench. Once the ball lands into the yellow bucket, the red wrench lets go of the blue broom, which is heavy on this end here, which then pulls it down towards the ground. Once it gets pulled down towards the ground, it's quite heavy, so it lifts up the steel ball up into the air, which lands onto the next red slide, which slides down into our red bathtub here, which then falls down the hole here, which in turn falls down onto the blue seesaw here, which has our green man on it. This guy loves to dive, so this guy dives into our yellow bucket. The yellow bucket is sitting on top of our red platform, and our red platform has a yellow post connected to it. So once our green man shakes our red platform, it sends a shockwave all the way to the top of the pole here which has our red cage hanging on it 
and as you can see because the rear cage is hanging on just a little bit it's quite sensitive it lets go and sends it down onto our mouse there so that's the overall look of our trap y'all okay guys let's get down to it here's the demo part of the video so i've made it in this particular way so we get four tries right we get the yellow red blue and green mice four tries try get it on the first try let's put him down on the board let's set his brothers up here on the left let's pull back our red sign and let's pray and hope it works on the first try let's pull it right back man let's just go super saiyan on it and let's do this thing oh look it broke oh let's see if it gets past oh no it stopped it landed in the bucket and stopped okay we're gonna have to reset this thing now oh, the yellow guy got away the mouse is safe so let's get his red brother out of the box it's your try now soldier let's put his other two brothers here in the left let's pull back the red side not as super saiyan as before maybe just carry ken times 10 let's do this thing Okay, this one looks a little bit more promising down the slide into the bucket up in the air down the bathtub yes yo we got it we got it on the second try man yo let's go that was fun man that was amazing now when it comes to this part here don't pull it back so hard like me just a little bit there we have it guys the demo side of the video hopefully you enjoyed it as much as i did so let's move on now to price now I picked this one up from the warehouse on Cavendish Drive in Monaco for $39. Now I did have a lot of fun playing this game, actually catching the mouse when I actually started doing the demo side of the video. But when it came down to it, yo, there's a lot of setup, yo, and it's really, really sensitive. So it can go off at any point in time. I think the kids will have a lot of fun, but the adults that set this thing up, it gets a bit tiresome. So I wouldn't actually recommend buying it at this particular price just for how it is. Now, if it were to drop down to $20, $24, then I would definitely get a huge thumbs up from me for sure. So there we have it, guys. Mousetrap by Hasbro Gaming. I really appreciate you watching. And if you're interested in picking one of these up, I'll leave links in the description. If you have any other questions or other toys you want me to check out, just let me know in the comments down below. And you know what? I'll see y'all on the next NZ Toy Review. Laters.